Before outlining DNA transcription, I feel it's important to give an overview of protein synthesis to put it in context. First of all, we have the DNA and where we find a gene on the DNA, this would be transcribed to form a piece of mRNA. This is known as transcription. That mRNA would then move from the nucleus where transcription took place into the cytoplasm where it's going to be used to form a polypeptide chain in a process known as translation. Ultimately, that polypeptide chain would be folded to form a protein. In this video, we're just going to outline the first part, the transcription of DNA to form a piece of mRNA. Transcription begins when a gene is located on the DNA and that particular part of the DNA is unwound or unzipped by an enzyme. Once that particular area has been unzipped, you then find DNA as two single strands and one of those strands is going to be used as a template upon which to form a piece of mRNA. A piece of mRNA is formed by the enzyme RNA polymerase by adding complementary RNA nucleotides to the template strand of the DNA. Notice that only one strand of the DNA is used to do this and that the other strand is not used at all. Furthermore, the piece of mRNA formed is single-stranded. In this animation, I've shown you the section of DNA to be transcribed, the gene. But remember that DNA contains many genes and therefore the piece of mRNA formed will ultimately be shorter than the complete length of the DNA. Finally, notice that the DNA is using thymine as one of its nitrogenous bases and the mRNA uses uracil instead. Once this mRNA has been formed, it moves out of the nucleus where this transcription has taken place and into the cytoplasm where it will be later used in translation to form a polypeptide chain. 